the franchise blew apart. Um, the location I, I was in was in a gym and that gym, the people who owned it, um, they got divorced and the new owners were like, no pole dancing. <laughs> and at the same time, this franchise thing was sort of falling apart too. So I said, okay, maybe I don't do this pole studio thing anymore. And and it, all these things happened. This was like a very busy 2014. And at about the same time, there was an opportunity for me to take over Polcon. The previous owner had decided they didn't want to do Polcon anymore. And so I said, you know, well, I'm really good at running things. That's kind of what I do. So I purchased Polcon and yeah, that was wild. <laughs> so I just, uh, yeah. So I just kind of, I came to pole with more of a business mindset. Like I don't have a dance background. I don't have a movement background, but I like making things and collaborating.